Hey guys, Nova Joe back again, ready for a little more Inferno fun. Going to take you guys into mission 136 this time. This is the mission where you get the new Barga that has the two gigantic laser plasma cannons that do an unbelievable amount of damage. Uh, first off, let me just tell you how to use those plasma cannons when you play with this new Barga. You press L3 and then triangle. And the reason I say L3 and triangle is because if you change your weapons or if you change your uh, controller configuration around and change your reload button from anything other than triangle or change it from triangle to anything else, for whatever reason, it won't let you fire the guns even if you press the button that is your new weapon swap button. You have to have your weapon swap button set up as triangle or these cannons will not work. I like to have my weapon swap as uh, the circle button. And I tried and tried and tried and could not fire the cannon. So I just reset it back to default uh, with triangle being your weapon swap button. And then it would fire. So you press L3 and triangle. Anything else will not work. So if you have changed your configuration around, you will at the very least have to change your weapon swap back to triangle to get this to work. If anybody out there knows how to do this any other way, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but anyway, what you're going to do for this mission is you're going to want to take the air raider in. And it doesn't matter what weapons you pick because you're not even going to really use them much. Uh, if at all, it's just for a little bit of fun there in the beginning as you wait for the bargain to drop. However, you do want a vehicle that is speedy, and for this, uh, I have taken in the level 76 uh, medical vehicle, and it has 33,000 points of armor, so you can take a hit or two, but the whole point of the vehicle is just to collect boxes. So, let's go ahead and jump on into the video, and you can see just how much fun this is, and how high, uh, or, and how many boxes you can pick up, and by the way, you can get up to at least level 92 weapons on this map. I've picked up a, a level 92 weapon. You might even be able to get to level 95. I don't know. But I have picked up level 92 weapons on this map. So I know that you can get at least that high of weapons. So, all right, guys. Let's go ahead and jump on into the mission. All right, here we go. Uh, first off, I've got to swap my reload button back or not reload i keep saying reload my weapon swap button i uh, gotta flip it back over to triangle instead of circle so let's go ahead and do that right now i don't know guys i just like circle <laughs> i like circle as my weapon swap button it's just the way i like to do it all right Right now, guys, there's not really much you can do. Um, you're you're mainly waiting for the Barga to come in. And once it comes in, then you can do some damage. But until then, you can just kind of play around a little bit with your what weapons you brought in. I'm just going to tickle this guy real quick. <laughs> 9,000 points of damage. Just gotta wait for the old Barga. Here we go. Yeah, just do a little damage to the guy. Just do some hits to him. Now here's the thing, guys. There's guys. There's numerous waves of enemies. A whole lot of boss tier enemies. As you can see here, is a bunch of Burgenesses. We're gonna have ants, the flying. Uh, or the gigantic queen ants that spit the acid. We're gonna have sp giant spiders, uh, the big gigantic robots that, the big gigantic bobbleheads are gonna be coming in. Uh, we're gonna have dragons. It's just, there's a ton. This is a massive, massive boss fight arena and you're gonna have a lot of boxes dropping. Uh, so the thing to do is and you're going to see me actually mess up here. You're going to see me mess up and not get out there quick enough to grab enough boxes. But if you're smart and you time it just right, you can take your vehicle out and get a bunch of boxes. So what you're going to want to do now is try not to hit your teammates because 
uh, your plasma cannon will hurt them a lot. Now watch this. Boom. A 1.6 million points of damage right now. And now yeah, like you're not going to be able to avoid hitting all uh, or you're not going to be able to avoid hitting your enemies. You're going to hit some of them. It's, it's just no option. You're, you're going to hit some. And there's not really anything you can do about it. So you're going to have to be really careful to try not to hit too many of them. And, um, and it's just inevitable. You are going to do some damage uh, to your teammates. But just don't try to keep doing damage to them. <laughs> so just watch what you're doing. Be careful. And uh, because you want them around because they're going to do a good job at helping clear out the, the herds. And they'll drop boxes even when your teammates kill them. And uh, then you just go pick them up. So here we go. Line back up again. Press L3 and triangle. And wait the grueling amount of time it takes for it to fire. And like you just saw there, you can actually set it up jump out of your mech and it, the firing sequence will still take effect even though you're no longer in it to control it all right here we go all right he should die in one shot oh there we go we got the big king spiders in now and the game glitched. I don't know why, but it does do that sometimes when you're controlling this Barga. You'll tell it to fire, he'll act like it's going to fire, and then he just doesn't fire. I don't know why. It doesn't happen too often, but it happens when you really don't want it to. <laughs> so, here we go. Boom. 325,000 points of damage. Oh yes, you also are going to have to fight the Ar the Archeles enemies as well. And there's like three or four of them. Oh, now see, this will be a good hit. I'll be able to hit at least two of them right there. Or 1.2 million points of damage. Now as you can see here, we get another wave of them coming in. And this is the, the giant ants that spit the acid and you don't want to get out of your mech right now you want to get rid of these guys before you uh get out of your mech and like i said this is on inferno guys and this mech has just an unbelievable amount of firepower there's just no <laughs> there you go 1.3 million points of damage there's just uh it, it's not hard it's not hard to farm on this level if that's what you're wanting to do this will be a good, uh, ah, and that's what happens. Right about the time you're getting ready to fire off a good shot, one of those buggers smashes into you. But as you can see, you have a million points of armor. So you can survive pretty well. Let's see if I can get the shot off. And, oh yeah, I think I might. Oh my goodness, this will be a good one. Boom. 3.7 million points of damage. I don't know what I just said. I didn't mean to even <laughs> have that message pop up there. Uh, see, this is why you want the ants gone. Because their acid just sits right there on your mech. And we'll just keep stripping that armor off. I should hit this one. See, there goes your teammates using them too. They can use their particle cannons there and clear out some enemies. Look at all those green boxes on the ground. But it's still not safe to go out. You want to kind of clear this out. The safest time, in my opinion, is when the dragons come out. Kill everything but one dragon and, hit, and then take off to collect boxes. It's pretty much the safest because the dragons won't do a ton of damage to you. 
as long as you keep moving. And I got hit by one of those dragons when he was dive bombing and it just did a little bit of damage, not much. Now the mistake I made here was I got too close to one of my teammates and he kind of made it cumbersome to try to get a shot off. Oh man, almost 3 million points of damage. But we've pretty much just about cleared them all. And like I said, you want to kind of stay away from the AI teammates because the enemies will go for them. And if they're going to, if you're standing next to them, they're going to get you too. My nephew Landon is here watching. What do you think of this so far, Landon? Neat. Pretty neat? Yep. This is Earth Defense Force 6. All right, here we go. Let's say uh, I might hit this guy. He might be too close. Ooh, we okay. Yeah, we got him. Oh man, my armor is only over halfway gone. And here comes another swarm. Boom! Jack that ant in the jaw. Do you see that landing? Yeah. That's <laughs> so what you do. You don't step on an ant. You just jack them in the jaw. <laughs> All right, now, this is also, like I said, you don't want to get out. I mean, you can, yes, you can. Uh, because these guys actually have a hard time targeting a fast-moving vehicle, the, the flying drones here. But, as you can see, I'm in pretty bad shape right now, so I really need to thin these numbers down. This is actually a bad run I've got right here bad because I'm too close to the enemies and I didn't stay far enough back. I've actually cleared this mission several times uh, without losing hardly any armor on my mech because I stayed far enough away where they could just focus on uh, the AI teammates and then I just throw out my vehicle and then go collect boxes. And your particle cannon will actually hit these guys too. The flying drones, it'll hit them too. Oh man, yeah, as you can see here, this is what happens if you get too close. Just stay back when you're using the Barga. Just stay back because look how far out that particle cannon reaches. You don't have to be right in the fray. Just scoot yourself back and pick them off. Just line up and fire. And truthfully, uh, I have actually gotten in my vehicle at this point. Well, let me phrase this. After I got rid of the Archeles. Once I got rid of them, even though there were some flying drones left, I would uh, get in my vehicle and go out and collect boxes. I don't do it this run because I just, I messed up. But as you can, I'm just showing you guys how to do this mission and showing you what kind of weapons you can get. So you'll at least get to see that. But watch this shot. Boom, they were all right in the middle of that. Two million points of damage. And you can see that those red dots on the mini-map are just disappearing quickly. There's not any, hardly anything left. There we go. Throw a vehicle out. Got myself confused there because I swapped my, my uh, weapon swap button and uh, it made me forget all my buttons. <laughs> All right, uh, I don't know if I'm going to hit yet. Well, I might hit something. Yep, here come the dragons. Yeah, now this would be the perfect time to hop out and go collect your boxes and stuff, but I'm uh, too damaged right now. I'm afraid they're going to damage my mech even more. So I need to take out what I can quickly because if I don't it's, I'm gonna have a hard time doing it without the Varga so there we go 
All right, let's see. There's my. All right, yeah, let's try to get rid of him. No, my shot's going to miss. Wait a minute, maybe not. Oh, it got him. It got him. He's gone. Now, you would jump out, get in your vehicle, and go pick up boxes. Even though there's like three enemies on the screen, you're pretty much safe to just go and collect boxes. Because the dragons actually don't do much damage to you as long as you're moving. Just don't stop and sit stationary. Just keep moving. All right, there we go. Boom, he's gone. Uh, am I going to get you? I can't remember. Oh, we're going to get him. I actually got them both. <laughs> so that's where I messed up, guys. You can see I killed all the enemies and uh, didn't get in my vehicle in time. So I didn't get to collect too many boxes right here. But uh, it was still fun. And like I said, throw your vehicle out and leave yourself a drag in there too. And then go and collect boxes. And so as you can see here, I did pick up a few green boxes. And there's a level 90 right there. A couple 72s, some 82s, a 78. But as you can see, there's a level 90. And I have picked up a level 92 as well. So, all right, guys, this is Mission 136. It's a lot of fun. And you can get really good at it and get a lot of boxes on it. So, all right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like, comment down below. And uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe if you've liked what you've seen. And as always, guys, take care, God bless, and keep on gaming. Back real soon.